It looks like a giant marshmallow, but it's actually a mushroom. Slice it and you get crispy vegan bacon or a convincing alternative to leather. And this lab grows an eco-friendly replacement to styrofoam, that light but bulky material taking up a third of the space in all landfills. But can this company grow it fast enough to make a global impact? We visited Ecovative's headquarters in Green Island, New York to find out. The magic is in mycelium, the living root structures of mushrooms. Our entire philosophy is actually based around this idea that uh, nature provides. Mycelium is a great solution to both the plastics waste problem we face as well as animal agriculture. I'm taking the mushroom mycelium and then I'm just going to section this petri dish. All Ecovative products start with these natural building blocks. We have about 100 different strains in-house, um, and we will analyze those for the different material properties that they have. What do you think about the wall thickness on this? It's pretty thin. The company's best-selling product is called Myco Composite. It has similar properties to styrofoam, but it's completely biodegradable. We've worked with a variety of companies, some of them huge companies like Dell Computers, where they've used our earth-friendly packaging to ship servers. We've worked also with small New York startup brands like Keep Candles. Manufacturers design molds using large recyclable plastic sheets. Heat makes the sheets pliable so they can be shaped around any product. They start with wood chips, corn husks, or hemp that would otherwise be thrown out by local farms. Then sprinkle in some fungal spores and add water. Pack the mixture into the molds and the mycelium starts to grow, feeding on the shredded agricultural waste. Just over a week later, the form-fitted mold is ready to ship. So this jar, and it fits really nice in there. The final material is a little bit heavier than styrofoam, but velvety soft to the touch. This packaging breaks down in just 30 days. Conventional styrofoam never really goes away. It can stay in the environment for up to five centuries, and less than 1% is ever recycled. Ecovative has a different process to make vegan meat and leather which it claims consumes far fewer resources than the real thing. And then we're gonna take this substrate, which will inoculate this sawdust. Workers still start with agricultural waste and spores, but these mixtures are placed in vertical farms, growth chambers that mimic the conditions of natural soil. And so what it's really trying to do is grow up and punch out through the earth to form a mushroom. But we keep the environment such that it just grows and grows into this large marshmallow-like structure. That marshmallow is called aerial mycelium, and it grows over the course of about 10 days. Their largest chamber can produce up to 200,000 pounds of mycelium per year. We end up with these large industrial slabs, which can be like 50 feet long and five feet wide and a couple inches thick. In 2018, the company licensed its leather making process to bolt threads. They make Milo, a leather alternative that has been used in clothing and handbags. In 2020, the company launched a line of mushroom-based meat alternatives called My Eats. The My is short for mycelium. The first product is called My Bacon. It's made from aerial mycelium that's cut into slices, compressed, and seasoned. It fries up and gets crispy, just like bacon, and tastes pretty amazing, too. We can't confirm the flavor, but my bacon is definitely a healthier option. It's high in fiber and has the same protein content as a regular slice of bacon, with one-fifth the fat. The company projects that as it scales up, my bacon can eventually be grown for a dollar per pound, a fifth of the market price of pork bacon. And it takes nearly 600 gallons of water to produce one pound of pork, but just over one gallon of water to grow a pound of mycelium bacon. 
Eben Bayer and Gavin McIntyre founded Ecovative Design in 2007 and debuted their microcomposite packaging in 2011. Since then, a growing number of cities and states have banned the use of styrofoam. But the United States does not have countrywide restrictions, and the average person still uses 75 foam coffee cups per year, adding up to 25 billion. In 2020, Ecovative produced over 6 million pounds of its foam alternative, but that's just half a percent of the cups Americans consumed. My bacon might have an easier time catching on. The market for meat substitutes is worth about $4 billion and is set to double over the next five years. Bacon is a really important leverage point in the market. It's one of the number one reasons people say they won't stop eating meat. Mycelium protein can mimic whole cuts of meat as opposed to most other plant-based alternatives, which come in the form of minced patties or sausages. But right now, my bacon is only available in one grocery store in Albany, New York. Ecovative plans on branching out to more stores in 2021, and it's currently building farms with the capacity to produce 1 million pounds of mycelium per year. The company recently announced it's raised a total of $100 million in capital. Compare that with Impossible Foods, a more established brand, which has raised $700 million to date. Ecovative design is a long way from displacing plastics and factory farming. But according to Eben, his company is harnessing the potential of the living world. My background and journey has been around figuring out how we can reimagine working with nature and using nature to create better solutions for everyday products we, we have to use as humans that just have less impact on the earth.